What's going on? We back. Good fella Sports TV. Salute to all the brothers and sisters out there on this good Friday. Hopefully everybody is safe. Snowing across America, at least on the East Coast. Everybody drive safe. So safe, excuse me. Um, caught an interview with uh, Fred from Barbershop Conversation. Saw his video yesterday. Very powerful video. I definitely appreciate and respect his word and his opinion. He's a very strong uh, young brother. Salute to my king, Fred. Um, from Barbershop Conversation and all my other young black kings out there as well, and kings in general, all right? Um, you got an interview with Keith Thurman. Let me say this, man, all right? You know, for anybody that listened to this for the first minute, Ellie Sackback has no place in interviewing boxers, man, okay? I'm sorry. Ellie Sackback was trying to mess up a great interview Fred was doing with tough questions with with paparazzi and, 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 and casual questions, man. Respect Ellie Grime, but if Ellie accepts back, not going to ask real boxing questions, at least some real boxing questions, then mix in the casual questions, get the hell up out of here, all right? I, I say that with, with, with no malicious intent, but I say that, man, don't don't mess up somebody else's good interview, you know, with some BS questions, all right? Let me say that. Fred won't say it, I'll say it, all right? You can, t- you can say it, you can send it to him, all right? But Keith Thurman, you know, did an interview, said he don't care what the fans think. I definitely agree with that. Obviously, your health comes before anything else. And, um, you know, he said that, you know, who who won't want to go out here and make seven figures? You know, he grew up poor like the majority of boxers. Woo, woo, woo. I feel him on that, you know. He said, we talking about the haters. No, you know, you have fans that's converted to what you believe is haters. No, this is constructive criticism. It's different between haters. Haters is somebody that you out there actively fighting Keith Thurman and saying, hey, you know what? Even though Keith Thurman knocked him out with that left hook, that left hook could have been a little bit more... You know, he could have he could have put a little bit more pop on it. You know, oh, I don't like Keith Thurman, man. I don't know why, man. You know, maybe because he wore them cornrows, you know. You know, that's hating. Hating ain't, you know, this dude been out the ring for two years. He said it was a sh- he had a shoulder injury on Brandon Shaw, but it's really an elbow and a hand injury, though. He don't know what he injured. That's not hating. That, that's stating facts. That's like, okay, why is he out two years, okay? What's going on with Keith Thurman? All of a sudden, he got out. He got, he got injured. Right along, right along the time, Errol Spence won a belt, okay? And when your, when your uh, peers and, and Sean and Danny ain't trying to fight the best and, and Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford neither, I mean, what else do you mean? You know, it make you look bad. Y'all ducking him as a whole. It's been ducked since he was 15 and 0. You could have got him up out of there. We ain't got nothing to talk about. But you didn't do that. That's not being a hater. That's a, you have, it's a drop on you. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, you have a history of, Acting, doing interviews around Errol Spence, different. Your tone changed about Errol Spence. You went from the you went from the, the hungry hunter to to the uh, fetal prey. So that's not hating. That's all documented in history. Okay, we can go back to interviews. Seeing I got an oh, I ain't afraid to let it go. And you know Amir Khan talking about him in the concourse in the arena, putting up on Pauli Malignaggi, saying nobody wanted to fight you. They ducking you. All of a sudden, now that you're in the position that you feel like you number one and you kind of the draw, now all of a sudden you mail it in and you 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 in fetal position. That's not hating. Because some of your hardcore fans turn into detractors, turn into haters. I mean, I won't say haters. They turn into like, dang, why why this dude? Or in his opinion, they turn into haters. But all they want to know is you destroyed the division single-handedly. That's how they feel. So that's not hate. That's that's people that 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 love the sport of boxing, know the world's weight division has a lot of potential, but you single handedly held that potential back from the welterweight division. So let me address that real quick, that part of the video. Okay, he prefers the Manny Pacquiao fight over a Sean Porter fight. And obviously he didn't have to say it, but he prefers both of those fights over Earl Spence's fight. So you won't be getting Sean Porter. I mean you won't be getting Keith Thurman versus Earl Spence in two thousand nineteen, okay? 2020 is supposed to be the greatest year in boxing history, okay? With all these hypothetical matchups, Joshua Wilder, Char- uh, J- uh, Jamal Charlo versus Canelo, Crawford and Spence supposed to go down in, in, in 2020. Now, uh, Spence and Thurman and supposed to go down in 2020. All these great fights supposed to happen in 2020, all right? He says that he went on his way to say this. You know, Fred was like, we 100%, are oh, you going to be 100% Sean Porter fight, right? He said, yeah, but it's a wild card, you know. You know, what if Manny Pacquiao, you know, look good versus Adrian Broner? They want to enter negotiations with me. Then I'm going to take the Manny Pacquiao fight, I'm paraphrasing here, over the Keith Thurman, over the Sean Porter fight, you know. So he's still trying to fight Manny Pacquiao. So 
Um, at the end of the day, if Sean Porter is not allowed to fight Errol Spence and not willing to fight Errol Spence, you probably going to get Sean Porter versus Andre Berto too. Those are going to be his two mandatories. You're going to try to get Keith Thurman versus Manny Pacquiao. Now, if Manny Pacquiao fight Keith Thurman, he said he came over to PBC to fight the best. I'm thinking more of the lines of uh, Adrian Broner, Pacquiao winner fight Danny Garcia. I don't have no special insight and no special drop on that. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know if Manny Pacquiao will fight Keith Thurman, especially with Floyd Mayweather on the table. So I think you're most definitely looking at a situation with Sean Porter, Keith Thurman, and, you know, possibly the winner fighting Errol Spence in 2020. Now, Errol Spence, who do we fight? Who do we fight next? I mean, what if are we also looking at some hypotheticals, okay? What if Keith Thurman get injured versus Zito Lopez? Or what if Keith Thurman and Sean Porter don't come to negotiation? That fight don't happen. Okay? So, you know, it can make Sean and Errol. All right? So, you got to make sure Keith Thurman is healthy. He's going to fight more than once in a, in a calendar year. He hasn't done that in three or four years, I believe. Since 2016, I believe. So, it'll be three years since he fought multiple t- No. 2015 was the last year he fought uh, multiple times in a year. So it'll be four years come 2019 since Keith Thurman's fought more than once in a year. So history tells us he fight Josito Lopez. He's probably not going to fight again next year. Hopefully he breaks that trend. But if Manny Pacquiao is willing to fight Keith Thurman, he's going to take that fight over Sean Porter and Errol Spence. And we always knew Keith Thurman wanted that fight, but it is what it is. So he's putting the, the purse, he's putting the money – of uh, with Manny Pacquiao and the the colossal pay per view event that it will be over fighting Sean Porter again, a guy he already beat who has a title that basically is his. So, um, you know, it is what it is. So that will lead Sean Porter to fight Errol Spence, Andre Berto, his two mandates, one of his mandatories. I believe that won't happen. I believe Sean Porter will go ahead and fight Andre Berto before he fight Errol Spence. So going to 2020, um, and plus Errol Spence has a title eliminator that's going down for his bill between. A guy name I can't pronounce, and Jesse Vargas, but Jesse Vargas pulled out of it, so it'd be another guy in there. I can't remember who they name, but you're looking at a fact. You're looking at the prospect of 2019. Okay, Sean Errol Spence will not unify one belt. Sean Porter will not unify one belt. Keith Thurman may not unify one belt. This is this hypothetical. So we will enter 2020 with the same questions we had in 2019. None of the none of the title holders, none of the four title holders at the welterweight division may not unify, and that's a real possibility. That may not happen. The only possibility, the only possibility that's over fifty percent is Sean Porter versus Keith Thurman unifying, and that's a fight that we already seen before. So that's the only unification bout you're gonna see. So now, am I wrong for saying why Terence Crawford and Errol Spence can't fight? People saying, "Oh, it's gotta be a mega fight." It'll never be a mega fight. It's never going to be a multi. It's not going to never going to be a million dollar pay per view if these guys ain't fighting. So why not make Terence Crawford and Errol Spence right now? Errol Spence ain't unifying in 2019. It ain't gonna happen. Sean Porter ain't fought three times in, in, in a year. And how long? Keith Thurman ain't fought three times in a year. And how long? Errol Spence ain't fought three times in a year. And how long? So if you continue to wait, you're not gonna get Errol Spence and, and, and Terence Crawford till 2021 at the earliest. It's a good chance in 2020, you still may not get one PBC guy that has all three belts. So you can go into 2021, still having to have a fight between one of the three guys to get to get them to unify all three belts. So this has been, let's just say this year, 2018, 2019, 2020, you could be going on four years to get four guy, three guys to unify one belt. But we're going to put pressure on Terrence Crawford, but not these three guys. This dude legitimately put, he said he won all the belts, but he puts precedence over making more money with Manny Pacquiao, which I ain't mad at him. He's been out two years. Got to get your bread up. Then unifying with Sean Porter, then unifying with Errol Spence. Like I say, man, fall back off the welterweight division. Don't have no hopes. Don't have no expectations for it. 2021, you know, by 2021, you may not get one, one guy on the PVC side with three belts. Goodfellas Sports TV, I'm going to link that interview with Fred, did with, uh, with Keith Thurman. Don't forget, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Also, we'll make a donation to the channel. That link's in the description. All those links in the description. Intro music, email. You want to reach out to me, questions, video requests, you can DM me on Facebook and email me, business inquiries, all that stuff. Mr. One Time for the One Time We Gone.